The freshwater crab is a shameless scavenger, feeding on the recently dead or anything too weak to fight. They'll eat small fish, they'll eat small invertebrates, they'll eat other small crustaceans, uh, they'll eat a little bit of plant material, they'll eat essentially anything that they can get. Like a knight in shell-hard armor, the freshwater crab's body and legs are safe from all but the most extreme assault. Even her eyes retract on stalks, folding in like car side mirrors for safety. But the freshwater crab's major weapon is its claws. And it's with these claws that they're able to do everything. They can grab prey or potential predators. They can tear things apart. They can move rocks around. They can dig burrows. They do courtship, waving their claws to the females. They can do whatever they want to do. Sharing the freshwater pond is a devastating opponent. The tiger leech. It doesn't feed on the dead. It sucks life from the living. The tiger leech is an aquatic vampire that actively seeks out its victims. But instead of using fangs, it has three jaws that it makes a Y-shaped incision and then sucks the life out of them. Tiger leeches are relentless. The posterior sucker attaches to their victims with an almost unbreakable grip. Up at the head, the anterior sucker does the real damage. It's all mouth, with tiny razor-sharp jaws. Once they bite a prey, they hold on with a combination of suction and mucus. They also inject an anti-clotting enzyme to keep the wound from closing up and slowing down their feeding. That's bad news for the tiny freshwater crab. But it does have the weapons to fight back. I think the leech is quite capable of bringing the crab down without getting cut to pieces by the claws. When a flesh-sucking leech fights a sharp-clawed crab, one is destined for Davy Jones' locker.